Hey, what's up Chemical Guy family? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Chemical Guy's Detail Garage. Today, we're showing you how to deep clean your wheels. All right guys, so I'm gonna point out the elephant in the room. Yes, this paint does have failing clear coat. However, that's not gonna stop us from giving you a video on how to do a super intense deep wheel cleaning on your wheels. So as you guys can see, these wheels are atrocious. They're all covered in all kinds of heavy brake dust, dirt and grime. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say this right now off the bat there's more likely than not gonna be etched in brake dust embedded on the finish of these wheels. So we'll find that out whenever we're done cleaning the wheels. But for now, I did just wanna bring that out because what ends up happening whenever you have your wheels this bad and you leave them looking that bad for a long period of time is that that brake dust can start actually etching to the finish of your wheel and permanently damaging it. So to kick off this detail, we're gonna start off with some decon iron remover. Now, the reason I'm gonna start off with this product is because this is gonna break down any kind of embedded iron contaminants that are sitting on the surface of the wheel. Now, the reason I wanna do this first is because I wanna make sure that there's as least amount of contaminants sitting on the surface of the wheel. That way, whenever we start scrubbing it with our brushes, we have less of a chance of inflicting any kind of damage like scratches and swirls whenever we're scrubbing it down. So I'm gonna grab my decon iron remover and I'm gonna spray directly onto the surface of the wheel. And we're gonna go ahead and coat that just all throughout the wheel. You can go ahead and spray that into the wheelbarrow as well. And I'm gonna be very generous with this product because I wanna make sure that this does an incredible job at just breaking down all the embedded stuff that's sitting on there. So after spraying your entire wheel, what you wanna do right now is just give that about anywhere from about one to two minutes. And what you'll realize is that sometimes whenever you do have the heavy embedded brake dust, it'll start turning from clear to purple. So whenever you start seeing all that uh, purple stuff coming down, that's how you know that the acid is starting to react with the ferrous metals that are on there, thus letting you know it's ready to be rinsed off. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for just about a little while longer, and then we'll go ahead and get started with the actual cleaning. All right guys, so we let that sit for about two minutes and as you guys can see, there's a lot of reaction going on. There's a lot of purple stuff and a lot of contaminants that are being knocked off from the surface of the wheel. So now what I'm gonna do is rinse it off with my Torx Snubby, which is connected to our ProFlow PM 2000 electric pressure washer. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and we'll be right back. All right guys, so as you guys can see, we just rinsed it off and check it out. It's already looking a lot better. However, there's still a lot of stuff that we need to take care of. So the next product that we're gonna be utilizing is gonna be our Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner Gel. Now, this product is great because it's a gel-based cleaner. So whenever you spray it, it clings directly onto the surface of the wheel. So if you guys will check that out, it goes on and it sticks there, it doesn't roll off. And that's the beauty about this product is that you have that nice jet stream action to really get that cleaner into all those harder reach places and for it to stay there for maximum cleaning power. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna spray some directly into my bucket. So I'm gonna give that about five sprays and then I'm gonna activate my bucket since it is a gel-based cleaner, it will foam up. So I'm gonna go and activate the suds. And then just because I thought that the wheel cleaning process was gonna actually be a lot more intense, I did pack a foam cannon. Now the reason I'm gonna be using the foam cannon is just for added lubrication. So what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and foam this on the wheel on top of the wheel cleaner that we sprayed on there already for more cleaning power and lubrication. All right guys, and now that we're all done foaming it, I'm gonna take off my foam cannon and then we're gonna start with the cleaning process. So the first brush that I'm going to grab here is our Red Rocket, which is a nice deep wheel cleaning brush. And this is gonna allow us to really just get into the deep uh, part of the barrel of the wheel. 
check that out you guys check out my arm all that stuff is just flying all over the place there's all kinds of embedded dirt and grime on the surface of these wheels i'm not exactly sure when the last time the owner actually cleaned the wheels so you know that'd be a very great question to ask because these things are atrocious so we're just really going to do our best job at getting this brush really deep in there to clean the barrel and then since this one's really really bad what i'm also going to do right now is instead of putting this brush back into my bucket i'm going to grab the tip of my pressure washer wand i'm going to go ahead and put that back on and then I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off away from my bucket. That way I don't get all this brake dust mixed in there. And would you look at that? The brush was actually red. So now we're gonna go ahead and continue grabbing some more cleaning suds and then finish cleaning the rest of the wheel. All right guys, now that I'm done cleaning the barrel of the wheels, what I'm gonna do right now is actually rinse it off. Now, I was expecting for the foam to last a little bit longer, but I did spend a lot more time cleaning the barrel just cause it's really bad. I mean, you guys saw it was like chocolate milk right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. I'm gonna re-foam it and then we're gonna clean the face of the wheel. All right guys, now that we're done refoaming the face of the wheel, now I'm gonna grab the next brush right here, which is actually going to be my wheelie flag tip brush. And this is a great flag tip bristle brush that's very flexible and it's gonna allow us to really just clean the face of the wheels in terms of the spokes so we can knock off any kind of remaining dirt and grime that our cleaners were unable to remove. So this is gonna help just, you know, scrub away all the leftover remnants of whatever's left on there. And as you guys can see, this brush works out incredibly well because it kind of contours to the surface that you kind of press it against. So as you guys will see, the bristle just kind of flex around the shape of the spokes on this wheel, making it extremely easy to just really deep clean your wheels without having to worry about being in any kind of awkward positions or anything like that. So now that we clean the face of the wheel, I'm gonna proceed with my boar's hair detailing brush. And this is, as you guys can see, more of a thinner, smaller brush. So this brush is gonna work out great for getting to all the intricate areas like the lug nuts, the center logo, the brake caliper, the valve stem, and anywhere in between. So after cleaning all the intricate areas, I did go back to just kind of cover some of the little corners right here, just to ensure that we knock off all the dirt and grime that's sitting in there as well. Now we're gonna move on to our Total Extract tire and rubber cleaner, because obviously you can't have a clean wheel without a clean tire. So we're gonna spray some of this directly onto the surface of the tire. Now, the reason that we have this in the first place is because Total Extract does an incredible job of breaking down embedded dirt, grime, tire oxidation, and blooming from the surface of your tires. Now, why is that important? Because whenever you go apply a dressing, you wanna make sure that it's on a clean and prep surface. So I know a lot of people, whenever they wash their car, 
you know, whatever kind of car wash soap lands on their tires and wheels and they dry it, they may think it's clean, but in reality, you still have a ton of dirt and grime. And as you guys can see, this foam starts turning from white to a very dark brown very quickly. So you know that it's starting to break down all the embedded dirt, previous dressings, tire oxidation, and so much more. Thus making it a lot better whenever you go to apply a dressing for a longer lasting shine and layer protection. All right, and now that we're done with that, now all that there's left to do is to rinse everything all off. So we're gonna grab our tip, put it back into our snubby, and we're gonna rinse it off now. All right guys, so we just finished rinsing it off and it looks incredible. Now there is a huge significant difference from what we started with to what we have right now. However, like I said at the beginning of the video, whenever you have your wheels that bad, there's bound to be permanent damage. So if you guys take a look up close, you'll see that there's a lot of pitting on the finish of the wheel. Now a lot of this little black stuff that's on there, that's not dirt, that's not grime, that's embedded pitting that's on the surface of the wheel. And that's something that you can expect if you don't take care of your wheels properly. So that's why we always recommend that you routinely clean your wheels. That way you don't run into problems like this because the last thing that you wanna worry about is having a nice, beautiful set of wheels and a very tarnished finish. And that's another thing that I do wanna bring up is that you guys are always asking, like we wanna see a super dirty, filthy wheel. Now, you have to keep in mind that if you do wanna clean a super dirty, filthy wheel, you have to have a super dirty, filthy wheel. And odds are, if you do have a super dirty, filthy wheel, and it's been sitting like that for a long time, then this is the stuff that you'll see underneath. So it's not really to say like, we can't do it, but you know, what ends up happening is you have permanent damage and it doesn't really look good as far as like, you know, the end result, but you know what? We're gonna go ahead and call it a day right here because this looks incredible. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some tire shine on this and then we'll show you guys the final results. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a huge like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you guys wanna pick up any of the products that we use in today's video, they're gonna be linked in our description and the pinned comment in the comment section as well or you can pick them up at your local Detail Garage store location. The store locator is in the description as well. My name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time.